I'm having Wendy's and I'm so excited. I'm so grateful that you guys are joining me. And you know why I'm extra, 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 extra happy today? <coughs> that was not planned. I need to edit that out. Hey everyone, it's me, Nick Avocado. We're back home. Shoo doo, we're home. Hello, we're back home. Shoo doo, we're home. Hello. And this is hot and steamy because we're eating my favorite fast food called Wendy's. <gasps> You guys, I have fallen in love with Wendy a lot lately. And Wendy, not the person, not the girl. Click the link down below to follow my Patreon for mukbangs and drama not allowed on YouTube. Link below. I mean the restaurant, you guys. I I literally just did a, a video with Orlin a couple, like, I don't even know, five, six days ago. And it was called uh, National Burger Day. So that's how you can figure it out. It was National Burger Day. And we had McDonald's, we had Wendy's, we had uh, Shakes, uh, Shakes, we had Burger King, we had all these different places. Wendy's was our most memorable, it was our favorite. And so we're gonna do a feast from Wendy's, all of our favorite things. They have a brand new bourbon barbecue. And they have that amazing pub. Not the chicken, disgusting, but the, but the beef, oh, so good. And you guys, I'm really extra happy this evening. It's nighttime right now. How many of you guys are watching this without socks on in your bed? How many of you guys are watching Eating Air? You know, I used to do these videos and I'd be like, hey, what are you guys eating with me? And a lot of people used to be like, I'm having a sandwich, I'm having a turkey club, I'm having a sub, I'm having soup. Nowadays, everyone just eats air. Well, guess what? Um, I don't need to eat air anymore. I know I've been trying to like lose a little bit of weight. My weight's really creeping up, it's kind of scary. I have a new dietitian. I just hired a new dietitian. Her name is Amber, and her last name is Amakomita. Amber Amakomita. And she's a professional, she's licensed, she has a bunch of certif certifications. She has nutritional, she's dietitian, dietetics, she has national recognition in this country. Amber Ama Comida. And um, she's amazing. And she's gonna help me track my pro progress, track my calories, so that I can eat, still eat junk, but still be healthy. I'm telling you about Miss Ama Comida. Oh my gosh, Ama Comida has changed. I my love lives. Miss Ama Comida. She has made intuitive eating a thing. Miss Amakamita. So we have Nancy in the firm, she might be ringing, and we have Miss Amakamita, she might be ringing too. Amber, so is this everything? That's everything. All right, let's see, let's, here we go. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Oh, hamburger. Did they get the bourbon beer cheese on the side? Yes, they did. did you paid? I paid for two, and it turns out they already had two in the bag. Oh, why is this cheese here? Oh, oh it's for your chili, probably. Yay! I'm so excited! Oh, the beer cheese! Oh my gosh. All right, I got a water for myself. I didn't get one for you because there's no more glasses, and I wasn't oh. sure if the dishwasher was no, they're clean. dirty or not. They're clean, they're clean. I didn't, it was too I'll hard to get one. Too much work to bend down. I know. So you go ahead and check. Oh my gosh. Okay, a pro tip from Nikocado, who is a pro, pro. and Miss Amakamita. If you go to Wendy's, you have to order the beer cheese sauce. Dip your fries in there, dip your cheeseburger in there, dip your chicken nuggets in there. It costs 50 cents. Or it's it comes automatically on that, that pretzel pub. And it also comes in the pub fries. I actually got Orland pub fries today because he didn't have it last time. Did they put extra cheese? Um, barely any, so it's a good thing we got extra cheese on the side. Barely any. You know what? I might actually, we're gonna put a little mozzarella into these and put them in the microwave so we get a little string pulls. Not like it's that necessary, but we're gonna really enjoy this. You know what I mean? So, um, you guys, grab some food. Hopefully it's not air, but I know a lot of you guys look at these cute little, ooh, my little medium. Are they fresh french fries from Wendy's? Mmm. Wow. This is enough food though. It is enough food. I'm still, look at all this down here. Thank you, Uber. You're welcome. You can pay me later. Or this just excites I paid. That's really what it's all about. 
And I got chicken nuggets just because just a little bit can be a nice little touch, but <clears throat> look at or I was only gonna get you a small, but you've been a good boy, so I decided well, to get you a large. Miss Amakamita said that's okay for me. Miss Amakamita is not dragging you, she's my girl. Amber, don't listen to him. Okay. Bye. Wait, I have to set this up. Bye. Oh. No, you can stay. You okay, wait. I'm gonna do one, two, three, and snap. Here we go. One, two, three. Hurry up. One, two, three. You guys, I'm so excited. I, you know, when I have Cheesecake Factory, when I have Wendy's, it's really hard to be angry unless Orlin starts talking to me. We'll see how this video goes. We'll see how angry I get, but I have to say, I just wanna show you on me unboxing this. Oh my gosh, it's so, so, oh my god. Orlin! We're taking these back. You did not check. I ordered beef. You got chicken. It says chicken on the thing, and you open it up, and boom, a slice of chicken. Where's the beef? The chicken's ones are horrible. Touch my face so they can see I'm angry. I'm giving. Take it back. I'm not taking it back. Yes, you are. I'm not taking it back. It's your fault because you didn't look with your eyeballs. I opened it and you I had saw one the job. bun. I saw the bun and I said, that's it. Didn't we? This happened last time. You don't remember? You didn't I think? didn't remember. It says chicken right on it. I didn't see that. It was chicken dark. Makes I just sick. had the light on. I looked for the bread. I was like, that's the bun. It's okay. Go take this back. I'm not taking it back. Yes, you are. I refuse to take it back. Then I will and I'll miss my posting time. How about that? Post this was your fault. We didn't order this. It lit, the chicken one is gross. And they were still hitting the wall because they're screaming. It doesn't matter. Now it's just crazy. The first time they'll mess up. They will always mess up. It's fast food. Gosh. It's. Bye. Don't worry. We can heat this up. We have air fryers and stuff. I just added actually this. Ooh. Well, you can do this part on your own. <clears throat> I will. I'll set it all up. It's all, take I take take phone, okay? take the phone. So yeah. to they give you a receipt? Huh? You didn't ask for a receipt. You always forget that part too. Yeah, I didn't ask for. A receipt. Yeah, you didn't ask for a receipt. It's an online order. It's online. It doesn't matter. They still have the computers that print it, no matter if it comes from Uber Eats, DoorDash. They were not online. very nice. But you have to ask. You have to use your words. They don't use their words. You have to use it. Mean, I was just looking forward to this. I'm sorry, the chicken one is disgusting. It's not even worth eating. It's not even worth And Orland, don't give it to them. Is there anything else wrong, Missy? Hold it in your hand, but is don't- Is there anything else missing? Don't give it to them unless it, they, it's absolutely necessary. We can take some cheese off of that. It's a rough time right now. The economy's bad. I could use that cheese for my emotional stress for their error. Because you know they're not going to give you an extra sandwich for you how to get in the car, drive there, spend a, you know five dollars of gas, sit in line, get everything else cold. They should be covering our whole meal, actually. So you don't give it to them unless they ask for it. And then you ask for the manager and say, why should I? I'm not doing all that. Make sure you're compensated for your emotions. This is America. And the light's so far back. You can, hi, can you even see me? I don't even know. The light's so far away from me. See the shadow by my face? It's his fault. He put the butt. And I was looking forward to these cheese fries. Oh. Ooh. Don't worry, you guys. Don't worry. This, this will still be good. I knew something. I just knew. It's never perfect. Go look at them. No, because we should have done this before heating the food up. I don't want cold food. Who cares about cold food? All you eat is cold food. Bam. All right, Hi. so we're just going to eat. Here's his water. I'm very excited for this. Thank so tell you. them what happened. Uh, well... This fat Karen told me to go to Wendy's to go forks. And do we have? Yes, there's four. Oh, pasta. do you not have eyes? No, 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 no. We're getting along in this video. Oh. So this, Hi. 
We love cheese. This is that. We uh, love cheese. Oh my gosh, look at all that beer cheese at the bottom. Ooh. Oh, I put Munster in there. Oh my gosh. Ooh. Look at that cheese bowl. Can I go heat these up again? No! Please, real quick. We literally heated up. We already did it twice. All right, pretend I didn't say that, Nick, edit that out, because people will get the first bite. If they say it's bad, they won't, they'll click out. Then go do it, you go do it. Don't mention the monster. <clears throat> Bam! Okay, you guys, so we are gonna try to do this again. He's upset, he's off frame. Again, he never fits. I, you know what? This is, I don't wanna be in a video with you. I don't wanna be in a video with you. Again, you're so freaking fat now that the whole camera system's just not working anymore. How about I just don't do videos with you and help your dying channel? My channel's doing great, sweetie. It's doing just lovely, sweetie. Yeah, it's like your weight is doing great. I don't need to lose weight because I'm perfect, sweetie. Perfectly round. Hi, guys. So, Orland didn't, you know, fact check, but that's okay. I had him, I sent him now, see? Oh good, you're doing exercise in this video. Oh my gosh! I'm gonna hunch. Good. You're always hunting, you have a hunchback. Mm. Oh. Do this first, we're fine. Click the link down below to follow my cameo where I will make a special video just for you. We can also message each other too. Link below. I'm far. Okay. You're so annoying. You shoot like a pig. One beer cheese is for you, one beer cheese is for me. Oh, and you have a beer belly too. Don't show them that part, that's rude. What, your beer belly? Ooh. Mmm. You've never had the pub fries. Is this your first time having pub fries? Ooh. Mmm. That's really good. Yeah, they could be this to drizzle on. Oh. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah, it makes uh, that ch checkers. Is there anything better than Wendy's? Fat burger. Never had there. Never had anything there. Ugh. Mmm. Mm. He's never he's never had fat burger. Never. Ever. I married a fat burger. He's never had we're getting along in this video. He's never had fat burger. It's on the west coast. We don't live there. <sighs> it feels good to eat. My hypoglycemia meal was bad. You always feel good. Mm. You're always eating. So you guys, I hope you're doing well. I'm devouring this, it's so tasty. Like I said, mm. I put some extra slices of Munster in here. Mm, it's so good. It has cheddar cheese, it has um, the beer cheese. Oh, mm. mm. It's just so, mm. so good. Mm. Mm. This is the best thing ever. You've never had this. I've never had this, this is so good. Mmm. Mmm. Clean them dishes, Nick. Mmm. Mm. Okay. Mm. <clears throat> this is our favorite thing on earth. This is why I sent Orland back for it. It will be worth it because it's nice. So oh. Oh. It has fried onions. Is there bacon? Yes, there's bacon. Fried onions. Look how much sauce they put on there. Woohoo! They give me extra sauce. They weren't happy about it though. Woohoo! Well, that's their job, and our job is to eat it. <clears throat> Bacon, Munster cheese. Oh, it's a Munster cheese fiesta, isn't it? Mm. Don't get the chicken one. It's gross. I mean, we still kept it. Orlin, how did that experience go? Keeping this. They, they wanted to keep it. it. They mm -hmm. took it back. They opened up the bag and they looked at it. They got it full of uh, whatever is in the air right now, <laughs> and that's that. And that's yeah. that. And I kept telling them, could I have it back? I have to bring it back to my fat wife. And mm. 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 and they didn't want to give it back to me. And I, it was a whole issue. And eventually they did. But they weren't happy about it. And they were very rude to me. 
Eat yeah. this with me. Eat this with me. I'll wait. Oh my god. Oh my god, no. <clears throat> oh. 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 Mm. <clears throat> my gosh. That's the best cheeseburger I've ever had in my life. <sighs> this one's your sauce, honey. <clears throat> Dip your burger into that extra hit. Mm. And nice and cheese, that beer cheese. Mm. 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 So good. Mm. Wow. I taste the smoky jalapeno. Oh, the buns. <clears throat> the pretzels. They're soft and doughy. It's like Ani Ann's. It's amazing. Wow, if you haven't had this from Wendy's, you need to try it. You need to go right now to Wendy's and try this. I get so many messages from people in the UK. They're like, we don't have Wendy's here. You guys have fish and chips. People in Scotland, they're like, we don't have nothing. <clears throat> I'm like, and you're smarter people for it. <laughs> <laughs> this food dumps us down over here. You're Cross. all the better for it. Mm -hmm. Like it, it, it is really nice, but tr man, we're getting really stupid in this country. Yeah. Case in point. <clears throat> the French fries are really good today. Mm. You try French fries? Oh my god. Mm. Chicken nugget. Mm. So about Orland's favorite ranch is a sweet ranch. Mm. Oh, I need to get better about wiping my whole mouth. I'll leave a piece and I'll be editing this. I'm like, Nick, wipe your mouth, wipe your mouth. And I can't talk to myself because it's hard. You know, I need to do a whole sweep. Don't pretend like you edit. Yes, I do. I watch these back sometimes and I just want to wipe my mouth. And you get a better habit just sweeping the whole street. I can't open this. The worst is when you have food on your double chin and it just stays there. I know. Here we go, I got it. Mm. All right, mm. fine, your fries. Oh, oops. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Soft, not hard, mm. tender. I'm gonna try it with your chili. Just a little bit. I don't like beans. Did you get crackers? No. No, they forgot to give them to me. And you forgot to ask. That's how it works. I love blaming people when they mess up, but when I mess up, it's always my subscriber's fault. It's always the worker's fault. People are like, Nick, it's your own fault for leaving the parking lot without checking. That's just the rule of thumb. You get food, you check that you got it. People make mistakes. <clears throat> Don't drive home for a half hour, sit in traffic, and then get mad. This is barely any food for two people, you know what I mean? So they shouldn't have no. messed up anything, let's be real. Especially this time of night, there's no one there. Was there a line? Mm -hmm. How many people were at the drive-thru? I was the only one. Really? Yeah. So they have no excuse. No. Wendy's always mugs up. It's like they're, it's, it's as bad as Popeyes. But mm -hmm. the food tastes way better than Popeyes. Um, yeah. Popeyes hurts my stomach all, every time. They hurt my feelings. <laughs> <laughs> they hurt my body. Sometimes they attack. <laughs> um, they hurt my wallet. They're so expensive. They hurt my brain cells. Popeyes just hurts everything. Sometimes I go to the drive-thru and I feel like crying sometimes. <laughs> yeah, I lose hope for humanity they're when I'm just, at Popeyes. No, they're just so mean to me. They're almost as mean as you are to me. Oh. They're really mean. I lose hope for humanity. I'm like, there's people on earth that act like this? Yeah. I did see a comment. Nick, you're so cruel and so mean to these poor fast food workers who are trying their best. I tried my best. That's not their best, that's their worst. And I would never speak to people the way I'm spoken to at the drive-thru. <laughs> never. Never. And they are day no day. You're gonna tell me they don't know? Oh, well, they're struggling. Oh, well, they're working minimum wage. Oh, well. And so did I. So did him. So did my sisters. My sisters would never, never talk that way at people at the drive-thru. I'm not gonna imitate anything. 
because it's really sad. You know, I'm not. I, they they know they know not to do that. Even when they are frustrated, we all get frustrated a little bit. You just it's just it. I lose faith in humanity. Like there's people out there that think this is just great. I would say the great worst. behavior. Yeah, this is perfect. Perfect <clears throat> behavior. I'm just saying, this is this is ill-mannered behavior. This is bad be behavior in, in society. Mm. Oh my god, this food's so good. Am I missing something? Oh my god. Here next. The bourbon. <clears throat> the bourbon bacon. Did they put extra sauce like we asked? Ooh. It's glistening. So this is their brand new cheeseburger. It has bourbon barbecue sauce. It has fried onions. Very skinny, skinny, skinny. Nice, good work, um, uh, Wendy's, for doing that. Has bacon. That bourbon sauce. Not enough of it, though. Yeah, your turn. It's so good if they had more. This bun's not as good as this. The bun's too thick. Thicker than your buns. Orlin, this is a nice video, please. People get very annoyed with you. <clears throat> what do you think? I think it's really good. It could use more bourbon sauce, huh? Yeah. Mm. I just wish every burger had pretzel bread. I know. <laughs> oh, Caesars, please bring back that pretzel pizza. Mm. <laughs> mm. The bun's too fluffy and dry. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> it's too dry of the bun. Mm -hmm. I just wish everything was pretzel bread. It's amazing. I got him really into it. He didn't know anything about soft pretzels. I used to think pretzels were all like gross, hard things. Uh, <clears throat> I enjoy nice. You go, you buy them at the store. I also like that really. It reminds me of coffee or dark chocolate. Not bitter, but just like very plain, like pretzels. I've had. Have you had long pretzel sticks? Like little skinny ones. The dry ones. Yeah. Yep. They're very long pretzel sticks. I've had thick long pretzel sticks. I like those. I've had the ones that are crisscross applesauce, like this big, little hard pretzels. I've had cheddar pretzels. I've had chocolate covered pretzels. I've had white chocolate covered. I've had yogurt pretzels. Mm, have you had yogurt pretzels? I never <sighs> like pretzels. Well, okay. Well, <clears throat> I think I do. I think, you know, it comes down to it. I think I do like pretzels. Am I out of spots? Oh my god. Well, that's okay. The ranch is yeah. really good. I was on an airplane once. I tried pretzels for my first time. They okay. gave me a little bag of pretzels. And I got super dizzy from the pretzels. And oh. I immediately like grew to like really dislike pretzels. Oh. And just the smell of pretzels would make me dizzy for oh. many years. And then I tried Auntie Anne's pretzels with you. Or not even that, I think the first pretzel thing I tried was actually the Wendy's pub. Probably. And that was my <clears> one. <throat> yeah, I was like, wow, life changing. Have you had the Sonic one? Yeah, with Hot. you. With you, yeah. Amazing. You like that, right? Yeah, I do. We did that for Patreon or something, didn't mm -hmm. we? Mm-hmm. Amazing. The pre oh, that's the best thing Sonic makes. Here's your. No, I don't know what that is. Mmm! Mmm! This bourbon barbecue sauce is so good. When you get it, <laughs> it's good. Mmm. -hmm. I love Wendy's. Me too. That's awesome. You used to not like Wendy's though. I used to always be like, you should do Wendy's. You're like, I don't like Wendy's. I would get the wrong things. I would get the chicken sandwiches. Just like you wear the wrong shoes every time you go to Walmart. Exactly. I'm like scraping the bottoms looking for more bourbon sauce. I mean, uh, beer cheese sauce. Look at me over here. Mm. I love the chili. You like their pub fries now, huh? Mm. If you're ever alone, they're called pub fries. Mm. Not the chili cheese fries, not the cheese loaded fries. Not the loaded fries, it's the pub fries. <clears throat> Want some chili? Mm-mm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
I love you. I don't. Oh, yeah, you do. Not really. We are so gross with napkins. We are the, the nastiest people on earth. At least I The way them. we use them, like, I use them just Okay, like so what are we supposed to do? Like, take them like this? I don't even know how to do this. I'm not bougie I'm just, enough. I'm just very critical. So this is how people use napkins. You take a napkin. You don't do And we have to wipe your hand. You open it to what you desire, and you wipe, and you wipe, and then, you know, you keep it there. We, we go like this, we're like, that's funny coming from someone that can't wipe himself. We go, we go like this. I get this napkin, we go. We go like this, and then it's no longer usable again. Yep, not usable. So folding and patting, keeping it like in envelope shape. <clears throat> it's about to turn off, go turn off. We have watched 600 pound leg episodes. And you know, the bigger person usually is the one that stays the most still. And usually they have a helper or an assistant or a husband or wife or girlfriend. And they end up doing all the work to like feed them. Yeah, I can relate. I was just gonna say like people, yeah. they're very angry at those people. The enablers, like <clears throat> that person can't even fit in a car. That person can't even legally drive. If you don't bring them their food, they're not going to get the food and they can actually lose their weight. <clears throat> but you're enabling them because they, whether they pressure you, whether they say they won't give you an allowance, whether they <clears throat> do something bad to you, whether they guilt trip you, all of the above. Somehow you're made to do things for me, like go turn that off, you know, and you'll do it. And he's just used to it. And I see that in comments like, Orlin's like Nick's little servant. I'm like, you know, when you're 400 pounds, you need one of those. And rant. It's very hard for me to do stuff. It's like it's double the work. You have to realize my skeleton is the same skeleton as yours. It's a still skinny little skeleton. When you go to the gym and you lift weights, that's a workout, right? You know, a ten imagine having a fifteen pound and a fifteen pound and going like this. Alright, let's uh let's change the light bar. Er, with a, with two fifteen pounds on your head. That's thirty pounds of, that's what I feel. Let me pick something up, let me tie my shoes. Imagine doing a squat holding, I don't know, 50 pounds in each hand. That's what my body's feeling. My skeleton is feeling hundreds of pounds. I weigh 220 pounds overweight. 200 pounds overweight. And my bones feel it. So just doing everyday things like stand up, go here, sit down, go walk here, crouch, sit, stand wipe. up, wipe, shower. I feel like I'm doing it while I'm at the gym because I feel like I have all these weights on my arms, on my, um, you know. Ooh, I hate that noise, Orlin. Please don't, please don't scratch. Um, stop, please. This is supposed to be a nice video. Are you done? Can you just, how about you just drink it? I mean, that was tasty and slow. I'm only taking that away from him because I, I thought he would scratch it out of like being mean. I'm not. So anyways, I, I have him do stuff for me because the reality is it's hard for me to, like physically it's so difficult. I'm not even trying to be funny. This is real. Oh, this is some real talk right now, isn't it? You're just lazy. Like, no, no. <clears throat> I was slightly lazy to begin with when I started this weight loss journey. I've never been, like, been the working type. I'm not the labor type. I'm not. I'm the creative type. <clears throat> I was drinking too fast. This is supposed to be a nice video. Orlin, people won't like you anymore. People don't like you anymore. You're obnoxious, you can't have a nice meal. This was not supposed to be funny and you just kept on doing all this stuff and now it's making I'm me I'm not angry. doing anything. Yes, your stupid little comments trying to act or a bad actor. I want to have a normal video for once. Anyway. He's my servant. And that's the end of my story. Well, how are you? You know, it's nice. It's very interesting to work for Jabba the Hutt. <laughs> You're gonna come out with a memoir. Life as Jabba's assistant. Yeah. Through the eyes of Orlin. Life as Jabba's assistant. <laughs> I actually have on my resume 
full-time uh, servant for Jabba the Hutt. Oh my god. Yeah. Shh. I'm not gonna get that, but Amber's watching. Hi, Amber. Miss uh, Amber Comida. It's Ama Comida. Oh, sorry. Her last name's hard to say. Miss Amber Ama Comida. Yeah. Miss Amakumira, I know you're watching this. Uh, I know I kind of broke a little of the rules, but no, I think she changed the rules for this week. Every week it changes. She's uh, like a top dietitian. Well, it's, it's this week she told she told me I'm speaking. She she told me that I can have a little cheat meal. <laughs> she also said laughter helps with weight loss. Yes. Yeah, I love you, Miss Amakomita. Miss Amakomita. Oh my gosh, yeah, so I'm allowed to have a little cheat, a little slip here and there. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I need to order a bucket of beer shoes. I'm sure I could probably find that. Can someone tell me where to just buy my own? Beer cheese sauce, like a butt, like a pint. Will it be as good as? Will it be as good as when? We'll test out. Can I get the grocery store? Mmm. Mmm. Yummy, yummy, yummy. I am incredibly full. The fries are very good. They are very good. They taste fresh, and they don't taste like over crispified. I like them soggy. Yeah. Yeah. Mmm. Using my napkin as God intended. <clears throat> mm. Mm -mm -mm. <sighs> You're very boring. Huh? You're very boring. I'm just wrapping it up, honey. You never wrap it up. I'm wrapping it up, hunty. At the end of my videos, I'm usually more full and I have less to say. They're used to it. We don't need your commentary about it. This was supposed to be a nice video. A nice video. Honestly, <clears throat> this was so I this was so good. There was nothing I didn't I mean I didn't really have the chili. The worst part was the customer service, but everything was tasty. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say me. I was literally about to throw this at you. The worst part was the company. But you said customer service, so don't even, don't eat it. I was literally about to throw that at you. Nice video. Um, yeah, customer service was really bad. It wasn't even that expensive. Wendy's has a good app. You always get something for free. Yeah. Always. They always forget something. Your, um. Your what? It was buy a premium sandwich, get one for a dollar. Okay. So this beer, the bourbon, <clears throat> or just yours. So I bought mine, which was like, what, $5? Yours was $1. Really? Oh. And one of the be the beer pub, beer pub fries was free. Great deal. Free. Oh. It's never been easier to be fat. I love this country. It's It really supports our lifestyle. All my, dream, all my dreams, all my goals. Mm hmm I was just telling Orla, if I actually hit what, what, 350, oh, one. Like, what were you doing in Ukraine? Growing cabbages? Being skinny. Yeah. Actually, no, they can be ch pretty, pretty chubby. I don't know. Slow metabolisms. I know more about nutrition than you think. I don't lie about metabolisms. Sorry. I should have got another beer, beer pub fry. You can drive back. Uh, oh, wait, you can barely drive anymore. I drive just fine. So these, you know, how hungry am I? I don't want to, their chicken is so, I can't stand, I, I can't stand chicken sandwiches anymore. I'm over the chicken. You know, Candy, Hungry Fat Chicken just texted me to try, what was it, the blackened pepper from Church's. I'll give that a try, but then I'm done. I'm done with, I don't know, I go through phases where I'm really into something and then all of a sudden I'm like, I'm getting really sick of it. Oh, that's I used, how I feel I about used our marriage. To, Again! Stop! This is a normal... You can leave. You can leave, actually. I want to have a normal video and take, these, take these with you. I'll burn them up for you. I'm, you, know, you can eat them or throw them away. I don't want them. Miss Omakamita told me 
to watch the calories. Okay. Ain't that right? Ain't that right, Amber? It's a Miss Amakamita to you. Miss Amakamita, I, I'm really full. That was so annoying. I, like, honestly, I don't need your boring D-list wannabe trying to copy Nikocado, trying to be all like funny, annoying, bad acting BS over here. I didn't need it. It's one in the morning, I'm hungry. I just want to eat and chill. He doesn't listen to me. And people are always just like, oh, are your videos like all stay? No, this is really how, this is, <laughs> this is really what's going on. This is really what's going on. I hate him, he hates me. We're a happy family, dun, 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 dun. <laughs> And it's not okay. <clears throat> This is really what's going on. I hate the way these chairs make noise when we scoot. I hate, it's cause there's freaking vinyl on the floor. I hate vinyl. My next apartment or house will never, ever, ever have vinyl. It just, I hate, listen to this chair. Slippery slidey, ugh. And this is, this is an upscale, like, well not up, upscale, but this is a nice, this is a nice place. It's a nice apartment, nice facilities. It's beautiful on the outside. And the inside, you know, it's modern-ish. Pretty much, yes. <clears throat> and they have vinyl in a couple rooms. It's just gross. Anyway. Um, I didn't need all that. It's just so annoying. And that's actually really our relationship. He doesn't like me. I don't really like him. But we're kind of stuck together. How liberating is it to not even have to like fake, fake love for someone? <laughs> you know, I don't even have to do all that crap. I can literally say what I want on camera and it doesn't matter. I am very blessed. <clears throat> Again, I give a lot of grief to the fast food workers. Like I hate them. Oh my God. They all hate me. Oh my God. I'm sorry. It's just, there's no excuse. We, we, don't, we don't enable bad behavior. I know I have a bad behavior where I overeat, but I don't speak to people like that ever. Ever. It's so weird. Like, don't enable that bit. And people in my comments sometimes want to enable bad behavior. They want to just enable it. And say, oh, well, you're just, you're just, um, you're just, you don't like fast food workers. Or, I don't even know. <clears throat> I respond to people's actions. I don't care what they look like. I don't care what if they're man or woman. I don't care if they're Hispanic or, I, I don't care at all. I, actually, I really don't. I resonate and bounce off people's behaviors, what they say, their action. Why do people have to make my comments about people's horrible behaviors or their subpar action into, well, you, you know, it's your fault because you're being mean or you're not understanding them good enough or well, you're privileged or whatever. You get, you, how would you improve life then? How would you, how would you improve anything? See, the people in my comments, they don't have the mind of a leader. They don't. They have the mind of an ant, a follower, which is why they follow me. Yeah, that, that's the nice thing about what I do. I'm allowed to be as cocky as I want, okay? That's really fun. F these people. Like, literally, he's so ungrateful. Ungrateful. If I pay for a sandwich and they don't give it to me, that's a form of stealing. And if they say it to me with lip and attitude and don't apologize, I have a right to react. I have a right to say, mm, I don't like this. <laughs> And yet people on the internet want to enable that. Well, they're not paid enough. Well, they're on their feet all day. Doctors are on their feet all day. I guarantee not, they're not going up to someone who needs some new medicine in their arm or, what you want? I already gave it to you. I mean, you might get a nurse like that every once in a while, but is that a good thing? Just because it exists, is it a good? No, let's talk about the errors. Let's talk about, you know, where people miss the mark in society, address probable reasons for why they're missing the mark, and 
Call them out. <laughs> you know, call them out. Work to improve it. You know what I mean? Dissociate. What's the word I'm looking for? Denounce. People in communities tend to not denounce their own community members because they feel personally attacked. The best way to improve a group of people, the fast food workers, the, the, the musicians, or people from, you know, certain nationalities or certain languages or, you know, or religions, that's a big thing. It's like, you have to be able to separate yourself from, or, oh, political parties, that's a big one. Denounce the bad stuff in your own party too. Otherwise, you're enabling it. <sighs> Denounce the bad stuff too. Even if you fall under a similar umbrella, for whatever reason that may be. I'm telling you, humans are so stupid. They're so stupid. And I'm fat. <laughs> Shapers, creepers. It's Miss Amakamita's fault. Miss Amber Amakamita. She. <laughs> She's the one who said I could have this. You know, she changed the rules yesterday. Got a new email update here where she faxed it or something. It's like br breaking news from the office of Miss Amber Amakamita. <laughs> she told me cheat day for this week is allowed to be Wendy's. No calories matter because we're going to be really strict these next four or five days. And she's going to be checking in. <clears throat> oh, cheapers creepers. This was kind of fun, though. This was really tasty. And um, I'm also really messy. I am such a prick. Is that a good word to use? I can think of another word, but we want to be monetized on this video. Thank you. I can think I want to be monetized on this video, you guys. <clears throat> but you know, when I was telling Orlin, like, you don't use napkins, right? I mean, I know I'm being that way, like I'm aware. Don't say I don't have self-awareness, I'm aware. I just, I, um, I kind of just, I, I'm loose. I'm loose with it. I'm like, oh, been with him for how many years? It comes to a point where I don't really care about his feelings anymore. Did I drink all my water or is that his? You know what I mean? Like anyone watching in a long-term relationship, hi guys, the way you speak to your wife or your husband, <clears throat> and that's really gross, I'm so sorry, oh my God. <laughs> the way you speak to your wife or your husband is gonna be very different than the way you speak to someone really attractive, someone really cute, maybe a crush, maybe you're going on a brand new date, blind date, first time meeting, hearts pumping you're, you're gonna be extra 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 play and that's why i say to my friends <clears throat> i say to my girlfriends i'm like he did what he said what he did this on date number two and this is when things are the best they can this is when he's on the best behavior what are you doing you are attracted to losers admit it you're just attracted yeah you're you're attracted to losers <coughs> if they're giving you bad f red flags on date number two See, with Orlin, we went years with no red flags. See, I became a crazy monster. This is, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to write this in my book. I became a crazy monster from eating fast food. It ruined my brain. And all of my worst personality traits got um, inflamed. It got heightened. What's the word I'm looking for? Um, not exaggerated. It just got <clears throat> magnified. And I think it has everything to do with the nutrition it does affect your mind way more than people think it's not just physical it's not that oh i'm just fat now some people like myself we react mentally all right i feel like i'm getting on a little soapbox and i'm gonna stop it before people get upset <clears throat> but anyways this was really tasty again get the get that beer cheese get that pub fries get that pub ask them for extra um Beer cheese sauce, even ask for an extra slice of Munster. It's another 20 cents, but it's worth it, or something like that. Um, the french fries were good. I like the beer cheese ones more. The, the nuggets were fine. I still, again, the burger and fries, windy way. Mm. And if it wasn't for this stupid little sauce. But you know what? That's how I feel about a lot of things. Like that, um, that brand new, uh, what's it called? Bacon barbecue? Bourbon? Bacon barbecue bourbon. BBB. 
that BBB sauce. <laughs> if it wasn't for that sauce, that burger would have been very average. That's what I'm saying. I will never understand people who like sauceless stuff. So many of them are out there. Some of them have big YouTube channels. They're like, ooh, too much sauce. I'm like, too much sauce? Or they're like, oh, I can't eat it. It's too wet. Or they'll literally pull up somewhere and be like, I just want, you know, a chicken sandwich, no sauce, no toppings, just the chicken sandwich in the bun. I'm like, oh. <laughs> um. I just, I can't understand. I can't understand how you eat dry things. But anyways, I'm gonna say goodbye. Thank you for watching and please subscribe. If you're new, my channels are all, all over the place. These videos are constantly all over the place, let me tell you. With my weight, with my, my thoughts, my feelings, my attitude, my relationship with Orlin. Um, I've lost the script, as people say. Honey, he's lost the script. I've lost the script. And sometimes I just show up and I'm just like, I'm here. And then I want to go on a soapbox, but I have to reel, reel myself back. I'm like, no, save it for Patreon, okay? Speaking of which, you can follow me there if you'd like to. I'm having a hunch. I feel like I'm having a hunch. Again, this whole camera setup this issue is really bothering me. If I'm sitting in good posture, this is how it comes across. But then I'm chopped off, so I was hunching. Uh, if you're new to my channel, let me tell you too, if you're new to my life, if, th if this got recommended to you on YouTube, I'm a big complainer. I love to complain. It feels good. This is like my, this is my therapy time. And um, some people, for whatever reason, like to hear people complain. I do. <clears throat> but there, there's nothing better than hearing your own self complain. Because you're always on the side of yourself. Like, I'm always on my side. Okay. So anyways, I will see you tomorrow. Thank you. All my links to all my stuff are in the description box if you care. If not, I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye. A big thank you to my patrons for supporting this video, and a bigger thank you to my new executive producer, Leslie Jeppesen. If you'd like to become a producer and help support my channels, or if you just want to join the community to see what else I'm posting, come on over to my Patreon by clicking the link down below. You must be age 18 or older. And for something even more personal, gift yourself a personalized video just for you. Or book a video for someone and surprise them. We can also DM each other and chat one-on-one. -on -one. So if you want to watch even more content from me, come follow my Patreon. But if you want a personalized video or just want to talk, come over to my Cameo. Patreon and Cameo are both linked down below. Thank you so, so much. Bye.